Welcome to Orange and Black Extra Innings. Today, the Giants played the two ball clubs from Ohio, the Cincinnati Reds and the Cleveland Indians. They lost to the Indians today and beat the Reds 9-7. to Today was a good day for Kelby Tomlinson. And Tomlinson is looking like a lock to be on the to be in the majors on the opening day roster this season. Matt Kane has continued to struggle in you know, I think we got. I think Block is going to have to be on the, the majors this season, just to, for insurance purposes. At some point this season, if Kane doesn't turn things around, I see him being released. And you know, I was hoping he would turn it around this year, and it's looking like it's just looking like he's just not going to get not going to be the pitcher he once was. He's just, he's not a good bullpen pitcher. And unfortunately, that's another bad contract like Zeno that's coming back to haunt them. Denard Spann has not looked great in, in spring training. He's only, he has hit below, he's hitting in the bingo cars at 053. Joe Panic, I, Joe Panic's looking like the Joe Panic of old. A, Healthy Joe Panic is going to be a good Joe Panic. We'll see if this, we'll see if this season Joe Panic can stay healthy and get back to being that 300 hitter he once was. And today Joe Panic was one for three. Chris Marrero is is making a push to make the opening day roster. He's not looked too too bad. Michael Moore, he's likely going to start in Sacramento, but he could be that call up, that injury call up they need. Aaron Hill sitting 316, and Aaron Hill, another one is probably going to be in the my and going back and forth between Sacramento and the Giants this season. But if he doesn't make the opening day roster, he could land on with another team this season. Christian Arroyo is making the case. He's not going to make the opening day roster, but he is hitting 364, and he is. We'll see how he does in Sacramento. I, I think Sacramento is going to look like a good team this year with all this depth down in, down in the minors. Oh, part of me, I gotta make a correction on the split squad games. It was in both Ohio clubs. They, the other squad played the D-backs today, not the Indians. They played the Indians yesterday. So please forgive me on that. Gorkis Hernandez is not faring any better than than Span. He's likely going to start the season in the minors with a 136 batting average. Eduardo Nunez is hitting a buck eighty-eight, so. Nunez is going to have to play some better baseball here, but he is laboring through soreness. Let's see, Hunter Pence is only hitting 100. Brandon Bell hitting 273 and went one for three. Mac Williamson starting to make his case for the opening day roster. He's he's really looked great as of late. So yeah, it's, it's really becoming a very competitive competition for that left field spot between Parker and Williamson right now. Trevor Brown went one for three. Jimmy Rollins, he's likely going to be designated for assignment on the opening day. Beckham, that's another one who could be designated for assignment. He's not looked great thus far. Now Ty Block looked kind of mortal today in his start. He, Gave up two earned runs. 
Clayton Blackburn fell back to earth today, giving up three earned runs and two two and two-thirds innings pitched. Kyle Crick's looked decent. We'll see if he gets maybe maybe the moved over to Sacramento this season. Can he handle the Pacific Coast League or not? Gregoria looked good. O'Kurt is, right now, I've got O'Kurt making the opening day roster. He has looked great. Can he, it looked like he has worked on his stuff in the offseason. And last in last September, we were, I was starting to see flashes of brilliance from O'Kurt, and he's really improved his game. It's game on for him. Chris Stratton, another one who was probably to start the season down in Sacramento, but he may not stay long. He could fit in that swingman role, especially if, Suarez or Block can't handle the swingman role. All right, let's check. Let's check up on the world, the WBC scores and scores from, first scores from around the league today. Come on, come on now. Yeah. There we go. The Braves tied with the. With the Cardinals 2-2 today. Brewers beat the Red Sox 13-0. Yankees beat the Tigers 7-1. Marlins beat the Astros 4-2. Orioles beat the Pirates 7-6. Red Sox beat the Rays 2-1. Phillies beat the Blue Jays 8-2. Nationals beat the Mets 6-0. Rangers beat the White Sox 5-1. Cubs beat the Rockies 4-3. Indians beat the Royals 7-6. Dodgers beat the Angels 8-2. Brewers beat the Padres 5-3. A's beat the, the Rangers 8-7. And the Mariners beat the Reds 7-6. Today in WBC action, Colombia beat Canada in Pool C, 4-1. to one. Venezuela is supposed to play Italy later today. U.S. plays Dominican Republic later today. Puerto Rico plays Mexico. And then Cuba plays Israel later today. And Julio Tehran played really well for Colombia today. All right, let me look at the standings here for today's game for the World Baseball Classic. And the first two teams out of each pool advance to the next round. Standings have to be serious somewhere. <laughs> All 
Our teams eliminated have been China, Chinese Taipei, South Korea, and Australia. All right, right now in pool in pool A, Israel and Kingdom of the Netherlands are going to advance to the next round. Pool B, Japan and Cuba will advance to the next round. Pool C, right now both the Dominican Republic and United States both have one win apiece and no losses. Colombia has one win, one loss. And Canada has no wins and two losses. Pool D, Puerto Rico has one win, no losses. Italy has one win, no losses. Mexico, no wins, one loss. And Venezuela with no win, one loss. So if the U.S. or Dominican Republic win today, the winner of that game will likely advance to the next round. Maybe tomorrow I'll do more in depth into the world base, the WBC, and tomorrow's orange and black. They might be giants. Thank you guys for, for tuning in. You guys have a wonderful day, and see you next time.